Edwin's a Japanese denim brand, originally started in 1947. It's a rewording of the word denim by flipping the M upside down into W. It's kind of like an anagram. Originally, uh, the way Edwin started out was the founder of the company, the Tsunami family. They really appreciated a lot of the military fabrics from the US after the wars. And uh, originally what his job was, was importing denim rather than making it. And it wasn't until the 1950s when Edwin first started producing denim itself. Um, not very long after that, what they then did was they got Toyota to produce the denim and Toyota, before it was making cars, used to train them under the name Toyota, so replacing the T with the D. From then, uh, the brand's history, it was the first Japanese brand to do a salvage jean, uh, first denim brand to do a wash jean, and then from then on it's just kind of grown with lots of interest and heritage and then from there we've then formed Edwin Europe, which is what we've got now. So um, Edwin's famous for the Rainbow Salvage, you see here. Um, first one originally was Levi's that did the red, and then you've got Lee and Wrangler famous for the yellow and green. Our, salvage, our Rainbow Salvage is 12.8 ounce. Uh, a lot of people always wonder why you pay more for a salvage denim, and it's to do with the quality, basically. Um, it can only be made on a shuttle loom that's 31 inches wide. So you can't produce as much fabric as you can with uh, regular denim. Um, some of the key factors as well to salvage is it wears in a lot nicer and it ha has a lot more durability. So on the backs of the knees, you'll get this thing called honeycombing, where it crosses over here and fades, which is quite a common characteristic. And then in the crotch, we've got this other one you call crotch whiskering, which you get along here. And then also you can get um, quite another common one is like the wallet wear in the back pocket. Um, and these, these appear like more defined, if you like, through salvage denim because of the way it's produced. Washing denim, I would advise it's up to what the customer wants. So if you're a real denim enthusiast, what you'll find that they often do is when they get a pair of new unwashed raw state jeans, they'll go six months and beyond without washing the jeans and then what that creates is all the uh, wearing like I just explained like the crotch whispering, honeycombing etc. Uh, when you wash them for the first time it rinses out a lot of the excess indigo and then that's how you get those fades. Another thing I like to do personally is wash them straight away that way you get a rinsed effect and the jeans stay more tonal for longer rather than getting all the wears um, keeps them looking a bit more fresher for longer if you like. And another question I get asked a lot is how do you wash them? There's a few different methods. The main one is you can wash them in a washing machine. Um, inside out, 30 degrees. The main thing to remember is once the machine's finished its cycle, take them out straight away. If you leave them in the machine too long, that's when you get all the lines and creases inside the jeans, which is a common effect that a lot of people will turn jeans for, but it doesn't tell you on the label, obviously. PD55 is currently our number one seller in the business. Um, I think the reason for that is it's just a nice regular taper fit. The tapering sits nicely above a sure trainer, which in today's market is really important with the whole sneaker business being really key. It also features a mid-rise in the back, so it's nice and comfortable. Um, the regular width in the thigh as well, that makes it enable for maybe a sporty guy that's got rather big thighs or the slimmer guy can wear a bit baggier kind of covers all bases that way as well the second best selling fit in our range is the ed80 which is it follows a similar silhouette to the ed55 but it's just a bit slimmer so it's got slimmer width in the thigh and it tapers even more in the ankle as well so again it, like what i said previously it works really well with shoes trainers etc um, and it kind of working a little bit better for us because we're noticing the market going a bit slimmer So this jean really works well for that kind of guy that wants something a bit slimmer and smarter Also, we've got uh, the ED47. ED47 is one of Stuart's best sellers um, It's a regular straight leg, so it's kind of almost does the job that a Levi 501 would do But it's a bit wider, which is also quite a strong trend at the moment um, 
straight leg, just sit, comes down straight to the bottom from the knee, no tapering. Features the mid-rise again, like you've got an ED55. It's very similar in the fighter to the ED55 as well. Um, but a lot of people are wearing this jean now, cropped again, so it sits above a trainer. And next we've got the EDSL. So the EDSL was made for the Stuart's 50 year anniversary. Um, a project we're really excited about at Edwin. Um, some of its key features are, we've got the leather patch in the back, where we've got the Stuart's and Edwin collaboration print on there. Inside the waistband, we've got olive colored reinforcement here. And on the inside pockets as well, we've got a nice bit of detail here, where it's all been personally printed one of five one to 200 pairs, limited edition. We've also given the jeans um, brass buttons to give it a more heritage look as well. Uh, it also features, one of my favorite parts of it, is the olive stitching on the back pocket. It's a nice subtle tone. It goes really well for tobacco stitching as well. Um, the fit has, a, it's really close to the ED55, which is our best seller, but it also features slightly more giving rise at the top as well, so it's a bit more comfortable. With Edwin, what you're getting is really good quality. Um, you'll find that a pair of Edwin jeans will last a lot longer than any other uh, denim brand with a similar price point. You're getting a piece of heritage of what we said about denim brand being started since 1947. And Japanese denim at the moment is a real niche on the market because of the quality and the time and position they spend putting the jeans together. You're just getting a lot of quality for your money basically. I'd recommend getting a pair of Edwin jeans from Stuart's because they've got the long heritage and they've got an amazing brand mix and the customer services are great just like the rest of our stockists.